<laughs> Who are you? I'm Tom de Bruyne. I am uh, founder of Sue Amsterdam, a digital advertising agency here in Amsterdam. I'm originally Belgian. I moved to Amsterdam five years ago to found a company called Boondoggle. And after those five years, I, uh, I really liked it so much, both in advertising as in living in Amsterdam, that I, that I decided to, uh, to start my own company together with a few Dutch, uh, Dutch partners called Sue Amsterdam. Okay. Um, yeah, you told a little about uh, where you're from. Mm -hmm. um, what's your professional background? Well, actually, I don't have a background in advertising. I uh, I hated advertising, and I still kind of do. Uh, and that's basically where I get the energy from to try to to do interesting uh, new stuff. But my background is psychology. I uh, studied clinical psychology in 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 Ghent, in Belgium, which is all about. Uh, Psychoanalysis, uh, Freud, Lacan, you know, the unconscious, um, which is incredibly fascinating. And when I was at my uh, final year at university, I did a six-month internship in um, in the psychotic department of psychologic uh, of a psychiatric clinic. And after those six months, although I learned, uh, and, and I think I have never learned so much in a short amount of time than being locked up for six months between psychotics. But at the end of that period, I realized that um, uh, psychological counseling is definitely not the thing that I want to spend the rest of my life in. So I, um, I kind of rolled into uh, marketing research. Then uh, this advertising agency in Belgium, this digital agency called Boondoggle, picked me up. And then after two years at Boondoggle Belgium, they asked me to found... Um, the Dutch agency here in Amsterdam that grew up to be a highly successful agency. We were uh, interactive agency of the year last year in Holland. And after that, we uh, decided together with a few Dutch partners to, to found our own company called Sue. And basically th this is what we do. And um, again, I don't have a background in advertising, but I definitely love the, 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 the creative psychological, um, game of, of influence and how do you excite people, how do you um, connect with them and how do you use those kinds of insi insights for creativity. Okay, cool. Uh, what, what was, um, what's the most impressive TED talk you've ever seen and why? Can you tell me that? Uh, there are a few of them, and uh, I, you asked me that question when you when you mailed me, and uh, I thought shit because I can talk for hours <laughs> about my favorite TED talks. Um, uh, but I pick, I picked out one speaker absolutely stood out for me because he was very relevant for uh, for our subjects, uh, subject of my agency. Uh, that's that's definitely Rory Sutherland. He has. Uh, He's done two TED Talks at TED Global. One of them is called Sweat the Small Stuff. The other one is called Confessions from an Ad Man. And he's absolutely amazing in, uh, in um, you know, making a compelling, entertaining story out of something that is very disruptive to our industry. And um, what a good TED Talk uh, should do to you is to kind of make you really curious for a subject. And, uh, and this is definitely what he did. So after... The Confessions of an Admin, I started to read everything about behavioral economics, about persuasion design, about how game principles shape behavior, and uh, it really opened up a world to me. And one of my most favorite entertaining TED Talks was um, Richard Dawkins with his uh, Call to Arms for Atheists, uh, which is one of the most absolutely hilarious intellectual presentations that I've ever seen. Uh, so definitely that one. Maybe an, an, a, a third one is... Uh, um, uh, how, what, what's his name again? Uh, I always for, forget his name. Sumata Mitra, Sugata Mitra. Yeah, Sugata Mitra's experiments on self-teaching. Um, what really impressed me with that this that talk is uh, someone who's done some amazing experiments and simply talks about those experiments in his that talk. And I kind of like the idea that. You entertain people, you educate people based on experiments that you did and those instruments, those experiments on self-teaching uh, kids in the slums were so impressive that, uh, that, yeah, I got quite amazed with it. Okay, well, uh, thank you, Tom. You're welcome. For the interview and uh, we're looking forward to, to see you on stage on TED.
Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it too. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Stop to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.